going on guys? Shane here. So this is like my third attempt at trying to do a day in the life video. I usually get to about breakfast and then I forget for the rest of the day. So I'm gonna try to stay consistent in filming here. So we just moved into a new place. It's awesome. We love it. And we also just got a new member of the family, Sullivan Husky. Named him after John L. Sullivan, the uh, 1800s heavyweight bare knuckle champ. Uh, so we're gonna go for a run with Sullivan down by the beach. We're gonna bring you guys along the way. Let's do it. Sullivan T. Davidson. <laughs> All right, guys, we just got home from the two and a half mile walk. My man is passed out over here. Great dog. So Actually gonna relax for the rest of the day. There's a fight to the video that's already online Sunday, um, even though we've been doing one video a day for the month of October. So normally as an entrepreneur, we don't have set days that we work or set hours. Normally it's like an eight to five kind of thing and then we give ourselves nights off and sometimes can get weekends off, but usually not. Sunday today, gonna have a couple friends over, have a couple beers, should be a good time. Uh, we'll bring you guys along the way so you can hang out with us. See you there. All right, so I'm on my way to the food store. I want to bring you guys along to show you the kind of foods that I eat and the kind of stuff that I shop for when I'm at the food store. So I'm just going to put the camera right in the shopping cart. You guys will see all the different stuff that I put in there. All right, no holds barred. Let's do it. All right, so in case you guys were curious what kind of car I drive, 2016 Honda Civic. It's been good to me so far. I like it. So going into the food store now, I I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm not gonna set unrealistic expectations and grab just chicken and brown rice. I'm gonna show you exactly the kind of foods that I eat. So let's do it. So I know that beer and wine and potato salad isn't the best, isn't the healthiest for you, but everything in moderation. But not only that, do your cardio. Cardio is not obsolete. You know, there's so many YouTube channels out there that are fitness channels, but they focus so much on heavy lifting and, and getting bigger and gaining size. Um, and they talk about how cardio diminishes gains, right? Maybe, maybe if, if you're strictly focused on strength training and just gaining mass, you're not trying to look toned, um, you're really just trying to put up more weight than okay, maybe but still if you want to be healthy You want to be all around healthy. You want to have a healthy heart You want to be able to last for, through rounds one through five You want to look good doing it and you want to burn a ton of calories do your cardio, right? If, if I know I'm gonna be drinking tonight Then I'll do a ton of cardio in the morning or the next day I'll make up for it and I'll burn all of the the calories that I put on um, So just something to keep in mind. You, you don't got to starve yourself. You don't got to kill yourself still enjoy yourself All right, eat the foods that, that you like but notice, you know, I didn't get any ice cream. I didn't get candy or chocolate. Um, so I, I try to avoid the, the really unhealthy stuff. And then when I indulge, if I have a couple beers, then like I said, I'll just work my butt off uh, prior to or after. It's time to go home and hang out with some friends. We're gonna have some burgers, so we'll see you there. All right, guys, so I'm gonna get a quick workout in before all my friends get here, uh, give you a taste of what I do. So there's not gonna be any equipment. It's just gonna be calisthenics. 
and shadow boxing. Then I'm gonna finish up with a neck strengthening exercise so you guys can get a taste of that. People have been asking what kind of music I listen to when I train. Sometimes I'll do audiobooks so I can catch up on reading. Um, if I'm doing cardio, like running or shadow boxing, I like listening to ska music, which is like old 90s alternative punk surf rock kind of stuff. Bands to look up, Streetlight Manifesto, Iration, two bands I really like. Um, can't really play them for you here because of copyrights. Uh, YouTube would shut it down. But um, if I'm lifting, again, if I'm lifting heavy, I like having all of my senses, including hearing, so I won't listen to music. If, there, if there's background noise, that's fine. You know, metal's good. Um, sometimes when I'm shadow boxing, I, listen to, I like to listen to hip hop just because you got that beat and you can sort of move your head and your knees to, to that constant uh, bass, which is nice. All right, let's do it. Without further ado, I'm gonna get a, a warm up in that I do before every single workout. Doesn't matter if I'm doing deadlifts or if I'm going for a run, I do this workout. So I'll share that with you guys and then I'll get into the routine. Let's do it. Up is over it's quick but it's full body I start from the neck I work my way down to my shoulders chest back obliques abs hips then I do my calves before I do my uh, my legs because a lot of the times people have trouble dropping down into their squats going low enough and the reason being is because of inflexible calves so if you warm those up you'll notice you go a lot deeper into your squats now I'm gonna go into the actual routine here what I'm gonna do is one minute shadow boxing, 30 second push ups. One minute shadow boxing, 30 second squats. One minute shadow boxing, 30 seconds of burpees. Rest and repeat for five sets, all right? And all the time I'm doing is I'm working my defense, my footwork, my breathing, strategizing, of course, offense, combos, punches, kicks, elbows, knees, takedowns. Um, then I'm gonna repeat that for five full sets, all right? So it should be a good workout. I'll give myself a, a little rest in between after I finish my 30 seconds of, of burpees. All right, let's do it.
right guys, so after five sets, you're gonna be beat. Um, if you can't get through all five, do three to start. You know, do 30 seconds of shadow boxing and only 15 or 10 seconds of your calisthenics. Um, pace yourself, of course, you don't wanna go too hard in the beginning, just like you don't wanna go too hard in round one in a fight because then you're gonna be tired. So understanding your body is very important knowing what you're capable of. Of course, pushing yourself past that wall each and every time that you work out. But like I said, understand how to pace yourself because even if your cardio is great, if you're not pacing yourself in the middle of a fight, you will tire out, right? Our bodies are vehicles. You need to make sure that you treat them correctly and you understand how to use them. Awesome, so now I'm gonna do uh, a neck strengthening exercise. Some people will argue, you know, if you work your neck, that doesn't mean that you're able to take punches. And like I said in previous videos, while you argue that all you want, I'm gonna spend that time working my neck, all right? Uh, one, I think it looks good. Two, uh, Mike Tyson, Floyd Mayweather, all of the best boxers have done it. Guys that have good chins as well, too. So I don't think it's a coincidence. I don't think it's genetics. I don't wanna leave it in genetics hands. You know, if, if I have a say, and it just takes you know five, 10 minutes to do some neck strengthening exercises, then I'm gonna do it, all right? So without further ado, let's get into it. It's gonna be a couple different exercises. Um, I'll write it out for you what I want you to do. And then the last one that I do, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to do it. It's something that I've been working on. It's a personal goal. So let me know what you think in the comments below when you see it. Let's go. So it's a work in progress, but what I'm doing is ultimately just doing a headstand with just my head, all right? If I do it on a wall, resting on a wall, I can do it all day long, but you know, after uh, a neck exercise and then just doing it flat with no support, I can only get about two seconds. So I'm working on it. My goal is 10, 10 seconds before I fall over. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna do these supported headstands and uh, work my way up, all right? So again, this is a personal goal of mine. You know, I, I think it looks cool. I like the idea of having a strong neck. You don't have to do this to become a fighter. I've never seen anyone else do this before besides like Shaolin monks and break dancers. So take it or leave it. All right. Ugh. Cool. That wraps it up guys. Thank you for watching. Um, I'm gonna shower and get ready for everyone to come over. See you guys there. Alright guys, so everyone just left, everyone just got an Uber home. I'm gonna wrap this video up right now, just playing with Sullivan in the garage uh, before we all go to bed. So thank you for watching. Uh, let me know because we still gotta upload one video a month for all of October to celebrate Bullying Prevention Month. So comment below and let me know what you think of the headstand that I did earlier and what other videos you'd like to see me to cover. What, the, what other videos you'd like to see me cover 
in uh, for the rest of the month. Till next time, I'm Shane with Fight Tips. Self defense for get out of there, Sullivan. The underdogs. <laughs>